Hello there and welcome to this episode of the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. I'm Alan Waddell along with the Athletics Director here at Southeastern Louisiana University, Mr. Bart Belairs. And it's an exciting time for Southeastern Athletics as we're right in the swing of things as men's and women's basketball with huge wins over the weekend. And uh, the women, Coach Lori Davis-Jones team, she, they're really on a, on a run here. Yeah, they're hot. Uh, they've got a huge game coming this week. Every game is pivotal right, right now. Yeah. you got to just... You know, fight for everything, but uh, you know they've won I think four of the last five, and they are on a hot swing like you're talking about, playing pretty good basketball. Well, Bart, also this past weekend we had the Lion Classic as the softball team hosted a number of universities here uh, to the Hammond area, and I know that's something exciting for you to be able to be able to show off our facilities, be able to host those types of teams. The weather uh, and the temperature were a little bit of a challenge, but. I want to say kudos to all those people that helped put that on and all the logistics that go on behind that. So that was a, a nice tournament. That we it was. Andrew Bishek and his ground crew and Pete and his coaches really got involved. But you had teams like Kansas. Troy ended up winning it all. They right. were 5-0. and You had Northern Colorado here, Northern Illinois here. Great teams, some local teams, Jackson State, some uh, Nichols. But it was great, and to have those people. And then the, the biggest compliment was, though, is when the people from Kansas say, wow, your facility, right. this is a university, this is the Jayhawks. And they say, wow, these facilities are great. We loved it down here. We liked the weather to have been you know, a little bit nicer. But when they look back at home, it was like Northern Colorado says, yeah, it's a little cold here. It's five degrees back up there. So I thought it was well done. I really appreciate everybody's hard work, and we made more money than we've ever made at that tournament. Well, Coach Langua said leading up to this tournament, we're going to find out how we are right away because we're playing some very good competition. I know they would have liked to have done better, but there was definitely some signs that this could be a, a pretty a stout team this year. Yeah, for we lost year. a couple by just one run or so, but we're also without Jesse Brown, right. who's our number one pitcher or right there. I don't know who's number one, but she also is hitting this year. So I think you, know, you had one more player to it. I think he's very excited. We had a disadvantage. We didn't play Friday night, too. And, and a lot of teams played Friday night, so you get those jitters out of your way, and then you play, and we lost a couple close ones on Friday. So I expect good things from there. I think they're young, and, uh, you know, we, we, it's going to be an exciting year for softball. Coming up, we're going to talk to Coach Jay Ortiz here on the program, and his ball club is going to throw out the first pitch this weekend at home against Indiana State. And uh, this is a good baseball team coming here to Alumni Field, and the game is early on Friday because of the Hammond Omega Mardi Gras parade. parade don't to want make to sure we can You don't want right. to get in the way of the Hammond Omega Mardi Gras parade. <laughs> I learned that. Uh, all the games will be in the afternoon. You're right, Indiana State's coming in town. Jay's squad is picked second in the conference. I know they have high expectations. That just shows you a lot because we lost some seniors last year. Right. year and you think oh guys gonna be rebuilding well there's no rebuilding in JRT squad he just keeps reloading reloading so I'm very excited about baseball also lost his starting shortstop Justin Boudreaux to the Los Angeles Dodgers so uh, you hate to see him leave but when they do leave and they go into the professional ranks uh, it's hard to blame them but then uh, also the tennis team a uh, fantastic victory southern knocked miss. off southern miss southern right miss. great win on the road they had to move the game back a day because the weather conditions were bad on saturday and i don't think they were much better on sunday but i think jason's very excited when you go to southern miss and win it it just shows you that you have a lot of potential and golf is in the middle of a tournament right now and then also track track coming up uh, they're going to have that big meet the southeastern invitational coming up in april april 20th if you're watching this show and you know a little because it takes a lot to run a track meet That's if you right. ever hosted one of those and we haven't done that in a long long time so we're going to need plenty of help so if anybody's around but we just want you to come enjoy it it's going there's eight teams coming it's going to be great to show showcase that facility because it's beautiful basketball softball baseball <laughs> track tennis is there's a lot of things going on right now. I know this has got to be a busy schedule for you, bouncing all over the place, but it's an exciting time. And we also have the big Pam Cook Forest retirement coming up as on well. February 25th, and there'll be a, a, a game with all the legends and the uh, reunion teams coming back on the 24th. I think they're going to play at 5 o'clock. So, you know, we'll see a lot of our great former players there as well. So as you can see, we have a lot to fill you in on here on this episode of the Southeastern Sports Report. So stay with us as we're going to catch you up on all of Lion Athletics on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm.